Hello everyone and if you don't know what neomorphism is it's basically like a combination of like modern and like realistic stuff and there are different ways to make it and different styles but the one that we are going to do is this three and if we go around at the bottom you could see like this nice effect which is like flat style so you see it looks like a button and when I click on it you could see it does this effect if I go down I already have another one and this one actually looks like this so this one looks like the button is getting pressed inside the screen or this is like a flat area like this you could see the difference then we got the third one which is like a plumpy i don't know what it is called but like tube like and i cannot show you every single one how to make it but the code is around here and i'll explain one and two and that way you would be able to like understand what we are doing for every single one of it so don't worry then we got our dark morphism style if i click on it you could see the effect then we got our concave and convex so you could see this is how it looks and when i click on it it changes to like this shape or this style these are the five ones five designs that we are looking at and with this designs you can actually create stuff like this and this is like very quickly that I've made. It took me like one hour or one and a half hour to like just do stuff this or do like stuff like this. And you could see, you could, I will give like the, what you call the template in the description. I actually have like lots of template on my site. So if you go to my website, if you go to product elementor templates, also my blog. If you go to elementor templates, you could see like, so, like lots of cool stuff are present around here also with blocks you could see i have different block uh, some effect like this interactive mouse cursor there are also videos about it so you could check it out and make sure if you want to have more videos like this like and subscribe for it consider sharing it uh, i need to reach like thousand subscribers so consider subscribing that would help me a lot so how about we get started with it and again i want to show you guys like this website too which is like neomorphism which you can see just it allows you to create like basic shapes like this and gives you like the code for it and also this one requires elementor pro if you don't have it use the link in description so that you could use like the or you could support me by using the link in description you don't pay anything extra you pay the same amount if you use the link in description but elementor gives me a commission to like referencing you so you will be paying same amount and you will also be supporting me so yeah thanks for using the link using the links and any other links if you want hosting and all it is like present also like for this button like this i already have like a template for it that you could check so before we start i want to explain to you how this works or how this button work we are basically giving an illusion so imagine we have uh what you call this rectangle which is a which is red in color and then we just create a black rectangle which is you see around here which is like a black rectangle i just reduce the opacity like this and then placed it around here okay and then i'll simply make it blur like this and because i made it blur and then placed it at the bottom area it kind of starts look giving like a you know a depth into it and i'll also add a white color so white color is not visible so let me just add it like this you could see i already have a white color too and i'll place it around here so obviously if this background is white it would not look good which is why if you go into it you could see that the the background is a bit darker than uh, what you call white so again we will add a background or box shadow like this of white color and then give it a gaussian blur and it already gives like a depth okay it starts to look better and basically to show that it is getting clicked all we simply do is we reduce the caution blur so we reduce the blur like this because you know how the real world works so basically if anything is closer to the surface the shadow is also going to be closer but if you move anything that is further than the surface the shadow is already going to be like it could be blur or it could be further basically and it just gives that illusion and if you go into like this one which is like this three method which is flat concave and convex 
or is it concave which which one is concave uh this is concave right so the one that goes inside is concave nope yep that is concave so basically the one that is inside is concave and this is convex so let's get started with making it and it's very easy to do you will need elementor pro so make sure you use it by getting it from the link in description that way you could support me and let's add a container into it so right now i just have a con i just have a container and then instead of it i'm adding a container this would basically work as a neuromorphism and you don't have to do the same design you can do anything i'm just showing you i'll make the background color to be this blue color because i like it a lot like this i'll reduce the size of my container again this style are like very dependent on you which one you want i'll make it white in color let's give it a height of 300 for time being you could add anything that you want inside of it doesn't really matter let's go to our code around here so for ta first one i'm going to use neuromorphism with border let's copy this code and let's add it in our custom css now if you don't have elementor pro i actually have a video on how you could still use custom css without having elementor pro so you could watch that if you want so around here you could see if i use this code we are using css class called neuromorphism button for this one so obviously we need to make sure that we need to add the css class which is same as this one to our container let's add our css class and as soon as you added it you could see it changed this to into this button effect without needing to do anything that you want so how about i just explain to you guys a bit of the code before we proceed further so there's one more effect that is happening which is i'm making the scale a really small uh, like a li really little when we hover on it so that it gives the effect of its uh, it gives like a good depth effect that it is getting smaller else it would just look weird so first thing first in the code i'll explain it around here we have border of 5 pixels solid transparent which is you see the transparent border which is if i click on it you could see the transparent border if you make it to let's say red around here you could just see that but i'll just keep it transparent why not looks good to me then we got a border radius basically this curved radius which we want if we want higher or not so if we do 50 you could see it changed to this style of button then we got our box shadow now box shadow just like i've explained i know i didn't explain good in photoshop because i still need to like work on it or i need to practice it but i didn't practice i just decided to record it directly but basically you could see that we are adding a box shadow so let me just remove the hover effect for time being so you could see nothing's happening but we added a black border box shadow at the bottom right and a white box shadow at the top right so if i change this to something that is like darker you can now see it much more better how the white color looks and obviously it does not look good right because the color is different which is why you need to know how this code works so that you could reduce the white color based on what background you are using if it's something dark then you need to reduce the box shadow okay let's go to our container and then let's me like paste this back so we just added like uh, you could add like multiple box shadow it doesn't have to be just two you could add like 100 box shadow if you want and this let me show how this works okay i think it would be good to like just copy paste it just in case i mess something up let's remove this one uh you could see we have rgba i'm just going to remove it and call it red for time being and this one i'm just going to call it blue so that we can see what it what it is happening box shadow the way it works if you go to our container and if you go to let's say style border we actually already have box shadow but we cannot use this because we want two of it and element only allows to use like one of it so if i go and click around here uh, you could say it just removed everything because we do it is using like it is overwriting it but we don't want it but let me show you what it does there is basically a color 
so let me use a black color solid one there's horizontal spacing like this and vertical spacing then we have blur how much blur you want so 50 0 is like no spacing or oh, sorry no blurring and then we have spread okay so if i use like 10 and then do some spread you could see how this looks so these are four values that are present in box shadow so actually five which is like which is like one two three four and the fifth one being the color so let me show you in the custom css the first one is our x value or horizontal value second one is our vertical value third one is our blur value fourth one is our spread value and the fifth one is our color value if i make a blur to be zero you could see same thing that is happening that i showed you if i change the horizontal to be 80 it goes around there if i change the vertical to be 80 it goes below there you just need to play around with values until you find something but again i've played for you played the values for you and you could just play around with again to find something that works for you and i'll just make the blur to be 20 when you add a comma around here and then add another values like this so let me just make it like this okay so it looks nicer we can now place another value which is blue same stuff zero if i do minus 80 it goes there minus 80 goes at the top so we just place one uh, color at the bottom right and one color at the top right okay but we don't want like red and blue right which is why we use something called rgba rgba is basically rgb alpha so r g b value and then alpha which is opacity okay so if you go into let's say hex color on google so if you go to color picker which is hex color pillar hex color picker from google or any other software that you have it has like multiple ways to like show or uh, show this value right so this is white sorry this is yellow in color so there is hex value there is rgb cmyk hsv hsl like this we use rgb value and if you go to the top left you could see it's a 255 255 255 for white color and if we go zero uh, if we go bottom it is zero 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 so rgb is basically red green blue and the mixture of red green blue creates like this design like this okay and if we add any other value by adding a comma and do 0.5 it's not going to show around here but basically in our this stuff if we add anything with rgba value it just changes the opacity so let's add this rgba to our first one and it just added a black color if i make this to let's say one you could see completely if i do 0.5 it's half the opacity 0.1 is like very subtle one like this and then second one is a white color like this add it around here white color which has 0.5 and the reason we are using 0.5 because our background is also like in a brighter shade but if we go to something like darker shade let's also make it like uh, 20 pixels like this we can also reduce this to let's say 0.1 to give like a better design like this okay let's refresh go back make sure this is set to 20 20 again Okay, there we go this is simply what we have done the next step is on the hover effect so when we hover on it like this it needs to go smaller right and also reduce the shadow because remember in real life anything that is closer to a surface would have less uh, less blurry shadows and sharper shadows so if i go into this values and if i just copy this box one into our default one which is like this one we you can see we just make it look like it is closer to the surface okay but we don't want it by default we want it on hover so we will just add it on hover and also you could see we have scale 0.99 basically we are making the scale be like a bit smaller when we hover on it okay if you do 0.9 it would be like way too small you could see so 0.99 just looks nicer very subtle and this one transition is basically how much second it should take to do that so if i do one second around here and let's say if i change this to 0.9 it would take one second to you see turn this into a uh, what you call turn the turn the scale from zero to sorry one to 0.9 
1 is default, one scale 1 is default and 0.9 is 90% of the default sizing. So let's make it 0.1 second. Again with box shadow 2, if we change this to like 1 second, you could see it, it took like way too long to like change the box shadow. So it would look weird. It is getting very slowly. So let's keep it 0.1, very fast like 100 milliseconds and then looks nicer. Looks like a button. The best part you could add anything inside of this and it would still work. Next is our neuromorphic, uh, neuromorphic button focus and active. What focus does is when we click on it, it would use like this value. And what active does is, uh, does is if I go to my this one, you could see that if I click and leave, nothing happens because this one does not have a link that leads to another page. This one. If I click, it just stays into that. You see, I just added like same link to my page. So if I click on it and just remove it, it stays in that state. So if it has a link and if you have clicked on it, it will just be consistent. But if I just click on it, you see like this, and this one does not have any, what you call, any link on it. So it just goes back. And we can just add like a comma, you see, comma. And this two would have like the same uh, styling. But if you want different, just copy it and create another one. Remove the comma. But because we want it to use like same values for both click and active, we will use this one. Let's copy this one like this. And it is doing stuff like this. So what it is doing right now is we are using insert. And if I, let's say, copied the insert. so. Uh, let me just show it in here. Okay. If I'll choose this container, go again to the box shadow. That's too much. Let's like do something like this. Okay. So this is the box shadow. And again, the position we have two options, which is outline and insert. It's very simple. Insert basically adds it inside the container. And by default, if you don't add, any, if you don't use out, uh, outline, sorry, if you don't add an insert, it will add outside the container. If you use insert, it would use inside the container. And that allows us to like basically add some styling into it to make it look like on click. It is getting inside of it because just how light works. So imagine for this one, the light is at this location. Okay. So it is coming from top left. And remember, because it is on the top left, this one would have no shadow and the shadow would be on this side, right? But when we click on it, it, it is getting inside of this one, right? This button. So it is adding the shadow inside of this one. And this side, this side is brighter because the shadow is coming from left side. So obviously there should be no shadow around here. Another thing I want to show you guys is that adding color on it just changes how it looks. So if I just add some different color on it, let's say if I added red, uh, maybe like, not red, let's do like nicer color. Let's do like purple. If I click on it, you could actually see the white color. Obviously, reduce the. All you simply need to do is reduce the uh, opacity. So I'll just do this one quickly. And you could see it changes the way it looks. And based on how much it spreads, it if it spreads too much like this, it means that it is getting much more inside. But if it does not spread up too much, which is like this one, you could see it is not getting pressed a lot inside. Just how real life works. If something is much more hollow, it would just go much more in depth or much more inside. So, again, if you guys don't know what insert should be used, just remember just copy the insert or just copy the whole box shadow like this, place it into the default one, which is like this one, and then play around with the values. So this is how it looks okay this is how it would look on click and we basically would play around with the values around here and then add like focus active stuff like this so that we can we don't have to like hover on it every single time to like see how it looks so let's copy our insert value box shadow let's copy it around here like this so obviously we already have our outline or the outside box shadow and for the insert we added two extra box shadow you see which is like 
let me oops not 20 let's make it like one this is how it looks and let's make this one it's not visible because it's white in color so let's just change the color around here so that we could play around with it and this is how it looks okay so again insert is also same if we do 10 it is adding like 10 from the uh, left side 15 30 50 like this so let's do 20 and then 20 again from the top side 20 then 20 blur so if you reduce the blurring this is how it looks and then spread so i just did minus 3 around here but again you can play around with values what you like what you don't like same with the insert around here i just added 12 just play around with values until you find something that works and then basically we'll just copy this one to our uh, this area and again uh, outline none basically i don't know if we could find something around here that that would like show what it is what it does let's see if i can find something it's not visible okay in this one if you see at the edges every time i click somewhere it adds an outline and that is pretty basic stuff about anything uh here you could see it added like an outline we don't want that to happen which is why i added like outline none okay and that basically removes the outline it is good practice to keep outline for other stuff because it allows uh, much more better interaction it gives what you have clicked and what you have not but for stuff like this we don't want to do that so we just remove it i'll just make it default and you could see how this works looks nice to me looks good to me perfectly nice now we got our second version which i'm not going to explain it is same as every single one you see it we are just reduced the inset okay but there's one more extra stuff right okay so if i click on it you could see that the box shadow which is like around here it stays there so it gives like an illusion of this edges is actually on above the surface okay so you see it is giving the effect that it is above the surface this edges but in this one when i click on it i just remove every single box shadow by simply just making it like not be available so if i go around here you see on click we have removed the box shadow but if we go around here we actually have box shadow or not box shadow but we have removed the outline one and in this one we have uh, in this one we have used the outline one and in this one i have not used the outline one which gives a illusion of that this button is going inside the surface just like a keyboard like this and it's very simple to do any container that you want to use on you just need to copy this css class and then add it around here so if i want to use it on this one i'll add the css class make sure you don't copy the dot uh, let's copy the code let's go to our custom css you could watch the another tutorial which shows like how to use it without custom css and this one you could see goes inside of this one very simple to do right next is uh, this container which has this like weird plumpy effect and this is also like illusion that is used by using a box shadow and we are already added like an insert around here okay so the adding this insert like this makes it look plumpy because the light is coming from here and it is plumpy so it is not being visible uh, or this area is being blocked by this tube like shape okay so nothing different we have just added an insert around here you see insert and insert on the hover too like this <coughs> again copy this one go into this paste around here make sure you copy the same css class add it around there and you see plumpiness is showing because light is coming from top left this is plumpier if i make some different color it would be visible nicely you see the light is coming from the left side 
make sure you reduce the uh, white color or increase it however you want and because the light is color coming from this side it is actually adding a shadow around here giving like this plumpy effect and giving like a plumpy effect around here by adding white color around here and on click it gives like this effect like we are pushing the tube inside of it very very simple to do next one is the dark one nothing different it is using the same stuff we are just changing some color we just changed like uh, the color to be black around here like this to be darker and obviously white color should not be this harsh white color should not be this harsh so just play it around with the values with insert and all until it looks nicer like this now this one is a bit different this uses concave and convex neomorphism and if you go around here you could see it so this is the plain one this is the convex sorry concave this is convex and this one is pressed like this and to explain to you if we go to the top of this page which is like this page i actually have three of the neomorphism with different box shadow and i forgot to show i forgot to add something because this th three of them are actually using the same box shadow nothing different everything is using the same box shadow i forgot to add it in this code so let's just copy this one go to custom css let's add flat container and you could see that we actually have our what you call border radius sorry not border radius box shadow added around here not much visible let's use this color same color not much visible right i'll also make the background color same so that it is like nicer to look at so like this we can just add a border around here because i didn't add it in the code so this is how it is looking right now we can obviously reduce the if we go into our custom css we can play around with our white color which is this one maybe 0 0.25 0 0.2 point to looks good so we could play around with values like this and this one is for flat one okay so this one is just flat you see no concave and convex shape to do the convex and concave shape shape we just need to add a gradient on top of it okay now we will add a background overlay onto it to make it look like it's convex and concave and obviously we could have just done it via our code because we are obviously using code so might as well do it via code but i think it's good to use like pre-built stuff too rather than increasing the code so i'll just go into my this container i'll give this value into this page when uh, so that i fix it go into background overlay the first value i'm using is this one so let's copy and go to our background overlay we can actually choose like different color too if we want let's go to background overlay in our background overlay we will choose gradient the first color would be this one and our second color would be this one like this these are nothing different these are just white color and black color you see these are just white color and black color make sure this is set to one because we are already adding opacity around here right so make sure this is set to one when you are using those values and these are just black and white color okay nothing crazy let me go back to okay and make sure opacity is one and all we need to simply do is to make it look like a convex shape which is if i go around here you could see it already has like a linear gradient around here uh, if i do let's say like this the light is coming from this way okay so this should be white and this should be black so our white is around here we want the white to be around here so maybe let's just play around with values until we find something so 270 what i have used around here is minus 45 so that is also something that we could use so let's do minus 45 there we go so it is around here 
starting from here and if i close it it already is giving the same effect as a convex shape obviously you will need to play around with some colors here and there so yeah you could see how this looks you will need to play around with some coloring maybe make the shadow a white color different make the uh, shadow to your own liking however you want and to make it look like a convex we can simply just maybe do 90 yep there we go and it is now giving like a convex shape so how about I just duplicate it three times, make it go left to right. The first one we will just not add any background overlay. So it is flat. This one we will give like negative 45 because we just played around with values to find it. And this one is 90. Uh, we can actually play around with the values again rather than 90 if we want to make sure this is around here. So like. 145 i guess and this is how it looks flat one just a background overlay makes this look like a concave obviously play around with the opacity maybe i can just reduce it a bit this is just like normal you just look around with the values and then find something that works we could play around with 0.5 like this and this is how it looks Obviously, you could also change the opacity from here. So, based on how you want to do it, you could just make it one and then change this opacity to have like different opacity for all top and left. But this is flat, concave, and convex. And this is the same thing that we are doing around here. We just see if we click or on, on here. What we are simply doing is we are making the background linear gradient, which is this one. When we click on it we are just changing the degree so you see it's same values so 0 0.2 whatever i've used around here this is minus 45 and then 135 so we are just changing the degree so if we go around here and then see that this is like this is minus 45 and this is 145 and when we click on it it does that another reminder that i want to tell you guys about this one is that if we go 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 down if you are using this code and you don't want to make sure if you click on here you can see that i actually have not added any color and i've also not added any background overlay to it because background we are actually added from here so if i do something like this you could say we have added the overlay from here so we can just change the color to whatever we want from here but make sure you don't add any background overlay because we have already added with this one so how about we click on it and it looks nicer the color matches you could also do is you could just make the container color to be this one and have this one hidden so this one being transparent and that way everything would use that color and if you go to the design that is around here you could actually get this template and then try and see how i have made this one these are something different stuff that i've done some nice effect and yeah that's all for today i don't think this video should be complicated <laughs> even though i made it feel complicated make sure you like and subscribe maybe that would help me not maybe like 100 percent and i need to reach thousand subscribers so yeah please watch the video share it uh check my blogs check my templates and get it for free use the link in description to support me and that's all thanks for watching goodbye